BNB, Sketchy, First Aid, Anki, U World. For those who have come just for the names, here they are for you. Now that we have that sorted, let's move forward. I gave my US Emily in my third year of MBBS. And trust me, I've used so many resources and spent so much of money on that. Now that I look at those experiences, I can say for sure that you don't need a thousand resources to crack US Emily step one. You just need five resources. So let's move on with that. Number one is BNB. This one is a must-use resource to master your first and second year subjects. The way Dr. Jason Ryan explains every concept is phenomenal. And now their portal also has integration with the first aid modules so that they give you the exact page number of first aid and you can annotate accordingly along with seeing those videos. Number two is first aid. This one is a god book of your assembly and rightly so. How do we use this? For the first read, do it along with BNB. Go through the entire book and watch the BNB videos. For the subsequent reads, either have only first aid or you can do it along with Anki. Which brings me to my third resource, Anki. This is by far the best med school learning tool that you will come across. It uses two very important concepts, spaced repetition and active recall. Both of these integrated make learning, you know, the things that you just need to mug up, those tough things very, very easy. More about this in our next Anki series that comes up soon. But if you want to know more right now, you can check on the links from where I learned my Anki. Resource number four, Sketchy. Man, Sketchy is so good. It is so good. So good. It's a treat for visual learners. It has these fun drawings that help you reinforce all these terms and concepts that you need to stick in your brain like several bacteria like the drugs the contraindications the indications everything that you think you just cannot learn can be learned through sketchy the last one and the best you world so i used about four to five q banks i used usmd rx i used kaplan i used amboss i also used becker which was there back then but when i gave the exam i realized that the questions were most similar to my u world and none of the other q banks the way u world replicates the real world questions is so far unmatched and I really don't know how they do this. So that's my brief list about the five point solution of cracking USMLE. More about each point about the registration process and everything about USMLE in my upcoming USMLE series videos. Keep watching.